In this video, we'll speculate on what type of life could exist in Uranus. Uranus is not considered a place that can host life. It is the coldest planet in our solar system, and winds are so fast that they break the speed of sound. The scientific consensus is clear. There's no way that life can exist in Uranus. But some surprising discoveries were made recently that might turn this upside down. In this episode, we'll explore several types of life that could exist in Uranus. Uranus is one of the least understood worlds in the solar system. It's the second most distant planet from the Sun, orbiting at 20 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Uranus's atmosphere is made of water, ammonia and methane, and it has a core the size of Earth, made of iron and magnesium silicate. Uranus has only been visited once. Almost everything we know about it comes from when the Voyager 2 spacecraft made a six-hour flyby in 1986 and showed that Uranus and its orbiting moons were rather strange. Uranus's five moons were considered to be dead worlds, and Uranus itself showed strange patterns of radiation, and this is what we believed for almost 40 years. But in 2024, scientists reanalyzed the Uranus measurements from Voyager 2, and discovered that the data obtained were likely flawed, because at the same time that the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by Uranus, the planet was hit by a major solar storm, which likely messed up the data. So now we know even less about Uranus than we thought. Uranus's moons might not be inert, and they are the most likely candidates to host life in the Uranian system. But in this video, we'll speculate that Uranus might not be as dead, and as inactive as previously thought. We have very little knowledge of Uranus, and it is a very hostile place to life as we know it. So in this video, we're not going to be as scientifically rigorous as we are in other videos, but it's more about having fun imagining what life in Uranus might look like. All life needs energy. On Earth, the primary source of energy is sunlight. But Uranus is far away from the sun, and deep in Uranus's atmosphere, no sunlight can penetrate. So how can life get energy here? Meet the kinetotrophs. Instead of harvesting sunlight, they harvest the motion of the winds. We can speculate that these organisms are covered in microscopic, hair-like structures that flex and bend in the wind, converting kinetic energy into chemical energy. Like in Earth's oceans, the kinetotrophs could be microscopic, algae-like organisms that are either single cells or a cluster of cells. Over time, they might evolve to become more complex, similar to plants on Earth. Huge organisms could have adapted to stay afloat, riding Uranus's winds to avoid sinking into the deep. They could extract nutrients from the atmosphere and have evolved structures with huge surface areas, all covered with the small hair-like structures that produce energy in the winds. These small and big kinetotrophs could form the base of an aerial food web. Aerial herbivores could feed on the large kinetotrophs, and their microscopic algae-like kinetotrophs could be eaten by massive filter feeders that, very similar to whales on Earth, could filter vast amounts of air, catching small kinetotrophs or other life forms. In this way, the kinetotrophs could form the basis for a complex ecosystem. Before we move on to the next type of life that could exist in Uranus, I have a request. To keep the channel going, we need help from you. If you enjoy watching our videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support will be greatly appreciated. The link is in the description. But there are other ways that life can get energy. Perhaps gradients in Uranus's atmosphere could fuel life. A gradient means that there's a difference in something between two places. That can be a concentration of a chemical, differences in temperature, or electrical charge. On Earth, life explores the differences in the concentrations of chemicals to produce energy. If there is a chemical gradient, nature will work to reduce this and molecules will move from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. This movement can be captured as energy. Let's call creatures that make energy in this way for gradient feeders. We can imagine colossal cigar-shaped beings that span across large distances and can take advantage of chemical gradients, allowing molecules between different parts of the atmosphere to flow inside it, creating energy. We don't have examples of life on Earth that use heat gradients to create energy, but we can speculate that our gradient feeders might have evolved this capability. There is another extreme gradient that we know from Earth that could be used as an energy source. During thunderstorms, a gradient is established between positively 
and negatively charged particles in the atmosphere. And when the gradient is large enough, the tension is released in the form of lightning. We can imagine that our gradient feeders are able to harvest this electrical gradient in Uranus's atmosphere and have evolved ways to turn the electrical flow of particles into chemical energy. This would actually prevent lightning from happening. Our gradient feeders would stay floating using either internal gas acts with lighter gases or have internal systems to generate heat, which would keep them floating much like a hot air balloon. Given the giant size of these beings, we can speculate that each of them are their own ecosystem with organisms that coexist in symbiotic relationships. Given the brutal winds of Uranus, these organisms could live inside the gradient feeders, helping to get rid of parasites or repair damages to the outer layers of the gradient feeders. Uranus is not considered a place for life, and realistically, I don't think that there's any life here. But I think it's fun to speculate on what type of life could exist in Uranus. So I have a question for you. What do you think that life in Uranus could look like? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, I suggest that you watch my other video on three types of life that could exist in Neptune. You can watch that by clicking here. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos of what alien life might look like.